Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Thursday Night Throwdown brought to you by the Armchair Dragoons. It is a pleasure to see all of you, to have all of you with us. Why is my, uh... Oh, I know why that's happening. Ha ha, I win. There's the Armchair Dragoons logo. I can't believe I didn't pick a good shot tonight. Quite the bare table, folks, don't we think? I do. Um, this is our Operation Martlet campaign for Chain of Command that we've been pounding away at for two months. I think that's awesome. Um, and, and yet, we're still here with a whole nother battle. This one, though, just to repeat, is a, uh, is, is a pretty bare board, I don't mind saying. It doesn't have a whole lot going on. But let me send out a tweet before we go any farther. Hey, Achilles, you're first, man. Glad to have you. As always, the, uh, there we go. Now, Mike told me he had, okay, the tweet's out. Now, Mike told me he had a tweet that was. I just, I just sent it to the, to your book. Oh, oh, no, this, oh, that's his, I, I was observing today, and if you haven't seen it in the news, there's been this spate of, I and I will say they're mostly foreign, although there's a couple American People have been putting up the wildest silhouettes for military vehicles when they try to tell us how many different vehicles have been killed or knocked out, I guess, in the war in, the, in Ukraine. Uh, my personal favorite, I don't know is what could possibly beat it, but there was a, I believe it was Spanish TV station from Spain that listed uh, tanks, and they showed a pretty standard silhouette. Soldiers, pretty standard silhouette. But when they showed airplanes, it was clearly an X-Wing. <laughs> and I'm like, did nobody check that? Whose job it was? But then I've seen a the, number of individuals. Person, let's put it this way. The person who did check it did it on purpose. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I have no doubt that somebody, <laughs> some low-level person thought that was a hoot. But it's the job. I, I've been an editor. It's the job of the editor to stop that. That's not supposed to happen. But then on the flip side of it, on the on the flip side of it, I saw a number of people, it's not just one, who every time they use a tank silhouette, they use a tiger. And there was a Mexican TV broadcast that I saw an image of where they were using a cool 3D graphic of what a tank is, and it was a tiger too. And I'm thinking... Is that this is almost like it was in 1944, where every vehicle is a tank, and every tank is a tiger. It was it was nuts. So, Mike, why aren't you in the server? Oh, I don't know. I'm slacking tonight. All right. So, CT, are you talking to us? I'm here. All somewhere. right. Excellent. I was just making sure that we had you with us. Who's who's already okay? Um. So anyway, back to the game we're playing. This is the latest scenario. This is actually day two of Operation Martlet. We've made it that far, which is kind of awesome. Uh, we've made it into the full second day. We all saw last week that OJ really pushed CT around, gave him a good fight with a punch from Vuncha, but in the end, mm. so now it's scenario five, winning your spurs. With the St. Nicholas farm in British hands, there's very little between the British and Roire, which is their goal. Advancing rapidly, they move onto the spur, hence the line, just beyond the village. We're told that this is scenario four in the scenario book, which is a delaying action. And it says it follows exactly along those lines. I like that. That's exactly along those lines. So what does that tell us? That tells us that during the patrol phase, the defender will have three markers, which he's going to place in a shaded area. Three. One, two, three. They must be a minimum of 12 inches apart, but they may be placed to anywhere you like within the patrol area. The attacker then enters with four markers at any single point. So you're going to bring the stack on, CT. Once the patrol phase ends, the jump off points are deployed. The defender places two, the attacker three, but the defender then places a third somewhere in the shaded area. To win, the attacker must capture at least one of the jobs that are going to be in that gray area and hold it to the end of a turn. Any other result, OJ wins. So, with that in mind... We have some patrol markers. I'm going to turn this on very briefly for you, OJ. There's your... 
You know, you know how it goes. Place them. Okay. And uh, did you already? Yeah. What was the distance? At again? least twelve inches. Yep, at least twelve. And obviously, you've got to I keep it was them with a little it. bit different than. Yeah, well, it is because usually you don't have a minimum distance. You know, they've still got to be the twenty-four. But they've got to be at least twelve. So you got to spread. The point is, you got to spread out just a little bit. Yep. And once you're all set in there, we'll bring back the green. Okay. You're all set. I got my three. Right, where'd, where'd you put the third one? Oh, there it is. I see. It was hiding behind a hedge. Well done. CT, you're the attacker. Come on, Adam. I suppose I should ask. CT, OJ, how you doing today? I'm good. Uh, a little under the weather, but good. Oh, yeah? Any, nothing in particular? Just feeling poorly? I think allergies. It, our week, the weather here has been nuts. Monday, it was 70. Last night, I was out shoveling snow. It was 60 today, and we get more snow Saturday. It's crazy. Well, I'll first wave of... at you when I go past, past on Sunday. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Oh, where are you headed? Back to Long Island. You said it the wrong way. Long oh. Island. Long Island. Long Island. Uh, so, all right. So it looks like CT. Well, first of all, we got a whole bunch of people in the chat. Uh, we got Red. Hey, buddy. Beat Cafe. Good to see you. We have Caleb Polachek. A wonderful evening to you. Telling us a story. I love a sentence like this. This one's a doozy. My wife and I. I love that saw many casualties on this scenario. <laughs> so, no pressure. Mike, I think it's you. I only got one move, right? Yep. No freebies okay. for you this time. You are rushing ahead, right. as it were. I see, Mike, you've got a nice reinforced platoon there. What? What? You noticed something over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought I blew that Thank sucker up. You did. You blew yeah. eight. You blew. Oh, that was the only tank in the Wehrmacht. I, I didn't know if you knew that. That's what my intel told me. But, you know. <laughs> That's what Vladimir Putin's intel told me. I can go twenty up to twenty four inches, right? That's affirmative. Yep. Okay. Back to you, CT. So the narrative here is the British are gunning it down that road. Very good. Like crazy go pants. Okay. Hmm. Looks like they're uh, going for the direct line of approach. I, I'm not feeling uh, subtle. I'm not feeling subtle in this. Now, I will say, and I don't know as... I know I talked about it with CT, but I'll talk to you with Mike. You see this... Uh, what we say? Ditch. Stuff there? That is a ditch. That is a ditch that if you're in it the right way, will bring light cover. Light cover. Back to you, CT. Oh, man. Not what I expected to happen. <laughs> I love it. For sir. Intending to lock? Yes. That one's locked, and the one in the front is locked. Correct. Okay. Were you trying to lock her? No. Okay. Just outside. Okay. 
I didn't care either way. I just didn't know if you just needed a guide or I'm going to lock you. Yeah, sometimes the S2 gets confused. No doubt about it. Is that another lock, Mike? Yes. Just thought so. Whoa. That looks like a lock to me. Yeah, it's supposed to be just outside. Oh, it is, yeah. Very good. Not sure what that is in reality, but I liked it. It amuses me. That you're gonna lock way before that, Mike. Yep, I know. Do it there. Okay. Yep. That's a lock. All right, that's everybody. On one side, so that's a full lockdown. Holy cow! Uh, wow. I'm. I, I'll comment later. Um. All right. So now. Uh, defender places two, the attacker three, the defender places a third. So you are the attacker's CT. Let me get you a stack. Or three anyway. Mike, I will get you two. Which one you want first, CT? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go with this one. 24, six. 27, four. Interesting. Not what I would have guessed. Mike, can you get the other one? This one? Yep. Excellent. I'm assuming that is not cover. Correct. That is. Yep. Mike, which one you want? I'll we'll just take the central one. cover right there yep. isn't it mm -hmm. you guys are putting all a whole lot of weight on those big lovely trees but you know <laughs> all two of them yeah <laughs> saying ct we're a little hungry so so we do squeeze behind those trees <laughs> <laughs> that one there all right uh gosh those two i imagine yeah Pretty much going to be baseline, I think. Certainly got the ditch there, too, but. All right. All right. Mike, your last one that's uh, loose, I guess I would say. Or something like that was happening. Got it. And CT. This one there. All right. Ooh, that'll be interesting. I'm sorry, which one? This one here. I was asking about the last dress fitting for <laughs> the wedding, how it went. Yeah, there it is. All right, and Mike, you now will place your third anywhere in your setup zone. All right. Here in the pool, so Need a third. I thought I gave you there. two. Yeah. No, no, yeah, it was over there on the side. And again, CT, you only need to grab one of them, not both. Okay, there you go. Cool. We know what we do now. Let's roll for force morale. 1d6, please. And my rolling has not improved at all from last Beautiful. night. That's only a one-point difference. 
Mike, you're an eight. I've set that. CT, you're a nine. CT, you're first. All right, nothing terrible there. Ah, let's see here. I don't have to worry about anything with buildings. That's kind of fun. Hey, Marky. Marky's giving you love in the, for your uh, deployment phase, for your uh, control I did. phase. I, just, I, I saw that. I just, I just thanked him. All right, we'll bring on my support. All right. And he'll make his radio call. Mm -hmm. And then we will bring on my other support. It's not a Churchill. And then he would like to shoot some smoke. You know how that goes. Put it where you think you'd like it. Right there? Yes. 1D6, one one please. On the screws. Nice job. All right, over to Mike. Wait, is Velker home? He is not. He is, uh, oh. ooh, there's a die. He is presently um, at the governing council, I guess we'd call it, for the uh, theater company he performs with. He is on their youth he's on their youth advisory board. And the Panzer IV is considered a a uh, it's got section? A negative. That is leader. a that's got a junior leader. That's a junior leader. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, yeah, okay. Never mind. Go ahead. What's that? Nothing. I just remembered you do still have a bombardment, but you haven't tried to bring anything on yet. So, right. I think I'll go ahead and take a pass at this point. All right, CT. A lot of stuff here. Yeah? Well, hello there. All right, uh, Sergeant Fox is going to come on. Somewhere over here. Where are you? He is going to order the FO to drop a spotting round. So it will be a spotting round from you? Yes. And in order to do a spotting around properly, let's get uh, let's get that out for one thing. I think I really got to start including it in the kit. Is what I think. The picture of this has the spotting around in it. Wow. <laughs> well, we'll keep this simple. The right size. It is good. 
Put that where you want it. All right. Let's turn it a brighter color. There we go. Much better. Uh, all right. And now that you have done that, if you'd be so kind, please roll a 2d6 and tell me what you roll. A total of 10. You rolled total 10. It lands on target. Well done. All right. And then we like call for more smoke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a blankie. One D six lands there. All right, and then um, with a three, we would like to bring on our other support for All Mike. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, Mike, he didn't want you to be disappointed. I'd only be disappointed if there's less than two. Or I should say, I will be disappointed if there's less than two. I, I would say, I would definitely overlock. say, Red, this is fairly open terrain. Yes. <laughs> All right. Mike, you're up. All right. Another die. Uh -huh. A little jam tomorrow. Might as well try and bring our panzer on. Well, before you do it, roll a die. Three or better. Oh, that's right. Oh, sorry, four, five, six. You know, four, yeah. five, six. Nope. Not feeling it. Off. Nope. All right. We'll just go back to CT. All right. Man, you've been getting the hands of many things. Yeah. Um, with one of the ones that FO is going to drop his bombardment. Marky, you are not in any way wrong. All right. No. It's one of my special objects. Womp. Move that go piece up, please. Yep, still very pleased with that. Oh, only one of them's on fire for me. Yeah, that's all I see. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah, well, the, the folks at home are seeing everything on fire. That's weird. Yeah, that is. Okay, I'm kind of uh, curious. Give me a second here. How about mm -hmm. that one? Is that hey. better? Yes. Not for me. Oh, wait. Yep. It's over there, though. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. What's, what's weird is I could see them when you moved them, Jim, but then after you said it, it they disappeared. All right. Move, can you move the other one out of the way? Yep. It's right over here. Yeah, you got to get it all the way out of the way because I'm going to put it down. There you go. Yeah, but it needs to go off. Mm hmm. The destruction, right? Set it on here. I got it. There we have it. I want it to be pretty. It is pretty. It's explodey. All right. Um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. That 
What's that? All right, and with another three. Let's bring on Jackson's platoon. Squad, but that's okay. Yes, squad. Wait a minute. Corporal Jackson's on the field? Oh, dear. Deploying those? Yeah, I just gotta measure them out. Yeah, just trying to show folks where you are. Not like you're basically not all down at that end of the field. There they are. asphyxiation from all the smoke. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them all under there, but Yeah, and they gotta be on the ground. I don't know if that's just because of the way the smoke is. Yeah, that's what they I kinda want them lined up on this hedge. Starting up here back. Right. Yeah, they're not gonna make it. I mean they're that that's a three inch or is it a six? I can't remember anymore. It's a six inch smoke puff. Yeah. And they're. You're not going to get them all. You're going to have to put them behind. That's a little reflexive, Achilles, but I think he does. I think if Corporal Jackson dies, Ian has to bury himself. All right, and then that's... Oh, and I have my other one. I'm going to drop smoke or try to. All right. Who can see that other than the, oh, the tank? Yeah, we can go right there. Okay. Die roll. Oh, all right. Where is he? He's under the tree. Can't say it's hurtful, but I'm pretty sure that's not where you wanted it either. Yeah. All right, back to Mike. Oh, and my infantry squad's on Overwatch too. Okay. Two more. Yep. Got it. Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, well, everybody's overwatching down there. Well, they can't right. though. They can't see. Well, they can't Overwatch that way because they can't see. Oh, those guys? Right. Yep. I'm what? not bringing anybody on. Uh, apparently not. Your bombardment, CT, I'm telling you, it's dissuading him. Yeah. So this is back to CT? Yes. All right. Yeah, I rolled 
three ones and oh yeah five. he tried tried to use his three and there's two jim go get the bot is it a has bot no no it's a right above has uh see it's a has bot plant i'm reporting this one you're reported mister i should report him for pornography Ooh, promotes <laughs> terrorism David Pump House, you are definitely not a bot. <laughs> All right, we're going to have my squad run. You're going to run, huh? All right, so that's a little uh, little shock per team. Yes. All right, go ahead. 3d6 as you want. 18. So you you ran the Bren team, and that's that's Rifleman with Jackson. Got it. Are you sending Ian with them? Yeah, everybody's coming. All right. So who is he going to take it off of? Oh, I did it on a two, so he doesn't take it off anybody. Oh, got it. Because okay. if I did it with the senior leader, he can't remove it either because he doesn't go with him, right? If he's not attached, right? If you attach him, he can. But then you got a senior leader running to the front, which you may not want to do. Brand team's got one. Right. But I could attach him, is what you're saying. Oh yes, oh yes. Hmm. He's a senior that's, leader. You can see that's him. eight inches to attach. Uh, no, he has to be attached. Attached. He's got to be with him, pretty much. You know, that's it's not, it ain't just yelling distance. He's got to be clearly with him. So because he's a senior, he's got three actions, and he can take off two shock in addition to making him run. If that's what you're doing. I don't think I can get him close enough to attach. Okay. And they'd have to be the, he'd have to be there at the start of the turn anyway. Yeah, he wasn't close enough. Right. So they ran on a two. Yes, and then the senior leader is going to tell the FO to walk his barrage. Barrage. You may move that 12 inches in any direction you choose. He can do that even with his line of sight obstructed? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that Vance did not like one teeny tiny bit, but it is so... Yeah, I think we came down on he's got a map at that point. He can. Yeah, that's that's basically the argument. He's calling grid squares. Yeah. All right, and then uh, the senior's going to have the mortar team send smoke. I'll need another marker, please. Line of sight? Yes, sir. You're good. All right, and then the third action of the senior, of Sergeant Fox, is he's going to move. How fast can he move? 2d6. Oh, no, he can, yeah, he can, does he, can he run? Yeah, he can run. 3d6, he's want to run him. Yeah. All right, back to Mike. All right. And what brings this on for me, Jim? Just to refresh my memory. Uh, that can actually just, you can place that. You're typically going to want to place it with the thing you're putting in it. Okay. Thank you. Try 
time for the Panzer again. Yeah. Hey, he comes on. Just remember, he's. Ca oh, that's right. You can't see him. He can't see you. Interesting. I'm going to lock that. Go ahead. Done. And he can go on Overwatch. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's 12 inches, not 6. Just, you know. Yeah, yeah. I knew I could go further. I just... Okay. I know he'll walk the barrage right into me here next turn, but my assumption. All right. And I'm sorry. Uh, back to CT. All right, Cedar Leader has three actions. Mm -hmm. He's going to have, what's his yelling range again? 18. 16? 18? Is, uh, okay. is it Senior Leader? It's right here. Da, 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 da. 18, yep. Yeah. All right, he's going to yell mm -hmm. the FO to walk the barrage. Twelve inches. To put that down, we'll find out. Yeah, you got it. All right, a little bit different when you hit a vehicle in a barrage. One D uh, one D six. Tell me what you roll. Three. No effect. All right. And then the senior leader is going to attach himself to this squad. Mm -hmm. And he is going to, they're going to move normally. He's going to remove one of the shock off of the Bren team. No, sorry, the rifle team. So they're going to move normally. So this is whatever this is. 2d6 times 2 minus 2. Fourteen. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Sergeant Fox brought up also. Yeah, he said he attached him to him. Well, he got left behind. That's that's all. I didn't know if he was. Ooh, Creek. Jackson keeps falling over. Creek. Well, it, to, the shock like and, to the shock and surprise of no one present. <laughs> he is in bed right now, he said. They just don't like this ditch. All right. Um, yep, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Bye. We're gonna activate the Panzer mm -hmm. and move him. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that 2d6? Yes, sir. It's your basic move. Five. Ten. And I'm, I apologize. He has to go straight, or he can no, pivot no. in there. No, you can You can move his... You just got to keep it below... Any turn has to be below 90 degrees. Any turn has to be below 90 degrees. Mm 
So I can just move off like oh, this yeah, director. Sure. Yeah, you got to go that way. You got to face that way. But yeah, you got to kind of. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And, I'm sorry. How far? Uh, what'd you roll? <laughs> uh, five. five. Yeah, 10 inches. And there's no negative movement for the barrage, right? Nope. Okay. He's in a that, tank. That's all I'm going to do right now. All right. CT. I get a chain of command. I missed your roll. I got it. And then the one uh, he is going to walk the barrage a little bit. So does it seem to you that the barrage is following us? It's your imagination. And then it's a 1d6, you said? Yes, sir. And just tell me what you want. Three again. Nothing. Yeah. All right, then with the three, we're going to activate this squad. And remove the shock. And then we'll go normally <sighs> not what I needed <laughs> yeah no rush fellas <laughs> and uh, let's see Uh, we'll move the Churchill up fast. Twenty-eight. Back to Mark. are fast. That's three dice, right? It is. Thirteen. Twenty-six plus six because you're going fast. Um, Thirty-two. Can he, he can go through the barat. No. Like if on. you try to go no. through, you have to go two dice through that and you run the risk of bogging. That's not bocage, but that is a hedge. All right. Go something like this. Sure. And then can he turn again? Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. 9.6. Can he do that? Is that okay? Yeah, mm hmm Six twenty-seven point four. Mm -hmm. All right, back to uh, yep, back to UCT. These hedges are not as big as I thought they were. Ah. Uh. He's going to walk the barrage with the one. Mm -hmm. 12 inches. A three again. 
Um, and then we're going to put my Churchill in Overwatch with a three. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to use the senior leader to activate Sergeant Fox. Mm-hmm. Um... What do they want to do? They want to... Yeah, they're going to run as fast as they can, and he's going to remove both shock. Because he has three, correct? Give me a second. I got to check something. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, the senior leader activates the the squad and tells him to run fast. Can he remove both shocks and see his three yes. activations? Yes, he can. Okay. Then they're going to do that. They are running through the ditch. And then with another three, we're going to bring on Adam's team, or Adam's squad. And I'll put him on Overwatch as well. Got your marker there. Yep. All right, back to Mike. Okay, the Panzer, if I wanted him, I'm just asking if, if it's possible, can I get him down this way on this turn? You'd have to give up a die to turn him that much. Okay. So, you, and then you'd, you'd, you'd be sideways. Okay. Give that a go. Two dice. Ten. It's ten either way, so it's uh, one die, so it's ten plus two is twelve. Twelve inches. You eat one for the turn, and now you can go twelve inches. Yeah. yeah. And then you're right there. Right. Mm -hmm. 
and I have a one and two fours. In, a, in the single, or I'm sorry, the single guy is considered a section. He's a team. Uh, he, he's part of a team. Yeah, he's a team. Uh, yeah, if you're if you're talking, yeah, these are. What you've yeah, your leader your, your squads are broken down into teams. That's one, and that's one. So each one of these sections is broken down into two teams. And he's not close enough for me to try to run an ambush, yet, is he? No, ambushes are twenty-four inches off the uh, off of the job. Chop. So he's and long, he's a long way they have to be like 12 yeah. inches away from infantry. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, yep. he's, as you're 100 miles okay. away, I figured that second part was moot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back to CT. Another bot. I go kill it. No, he says vum today. That means something. Hey, John. Oh, not a bot. Apologies. It's a, no, he's he's most definitely a bot. But yes. I, Jonah I Poo. Your name is Poo. Poo. Or, I just removed poo you like poo. poo. Poo on the bottom of your shoe. I'm thinking, sorry. That's all right. All good. All right, we're gonna walk the barrage with a one. Mm -hmm. You should give me a little more if you want to get them, because I'm not sold right there. Okay. There you go. And you roll a four this time. That's a different. No, you you rolled a different number. <laughs> Perhaps it will have a consequence. That oh, commander's command initiative is reduced by one in the next phase. All right, and then we'll make a three and have Jackson's squad run fast. Run fast. And he'll take a shock off. We'll put the shock with the Bren team at the front. 22 inches. They're not overwatching at all. I thought I had a marker. I guess I didn't. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. What could they be up to? And I'm sorry, you said you were giving it to the, the rifleman or the Bren? Bren in the front. All right, um, back to Mike. <laughs> next that phase is your turn. Mike. Oh, next phase, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right.
I can bring on a junior sections. Bring him on with my junior leader along with this. With this? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. You can try. Yeah. Yeah. Try is the So you're going to try to bring on Sharp, perhaps? Is that here? Sure. All right. Yeah. And he is. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that. Oh, what I wouldn't have given for one of those. Oh, you locked it down. I was going to mm -hmm. square it up a little bit. You want to move it? Just was going to rotate it um, yeah. counterclockwise just a little bit. Yeah, you you got to kind of grab it in the middle. There, there we go. All right, that's where you want it? There. Yep. Yes, sir. You can place them on Overwatch. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. I was about to ask you if I could do that. And, um, and that won't trigger mine unless he shoots. Correct. Correct. Exactly right. All right. Back to uh. Yeah. Back to UCT. Nope. It's your turn, Mike. Remember, you got next place. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not used to getting that privilege. I know. I'm usually on the receiving end of it. And there's the big Full decision commanding. point for you, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna... So, what do, you do? <laughs> what do you do? Well, first of all, I'm going to combine a, a one and a two to activate the Panzer. Okay, just uh, okay. Yeah, go by, by all means. It's, it's active. Basically, all I want to do is be able to rotate him back around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's 1d6, 2d6? If you want to just rotate him, you just do that for free. That's for free. Okay. If you want to move him, that's points, but... Okay. And he can go on an Overwatch if I wanted yep. him to, couldn't mm -hmm. he? Sure can. Yes, please. And... Can this go in the bunker? In the bunker too, or there's no room. You don't really need to. Okay. There's not much point, to be honest. Okay. And I'm fine with that. I, just, I just, just because, better. just because of how you got to deal with him. Right. Okay. But we'll try to bring him on. All right. Yep. And we can. Now, where to place him exactly? Remember your distances? He's a little different. Yeah, what's the distance? Wait a second. You are so annoying, book. Thank you. I oh. Do. I'm, I'm, I'm upset now. I thought I was annoying. No, you're not. 24 inches of a job. But I want to get him into some kind of cover, don't I? No, because you can't see him. No. Remember? Ah. Oh, that's right. You have to be overwatching the area that he's in. So technically, if you put him in front of that tank, and that tank is overwatching... They can test to see if they can see him. Only after he fires. But though. only after he fires. So right now, that tank... Uh, yeah, that tank... See, Well, let's see. It's not like you can't check it. Yeah, that tank isn't going to get him. 
This infantry back here will. Uh, yeah, well, they get it. Yes, the infantry would get a chance to see him. Maybe. So what you want to do, Mike? And that's it for me. So you're just gonna you're just deploying him. You're not shooting him. Oh, yeah. I, yes. All right. Who's he shooting? Yep. Uh. I think the only target, well... He's got two. Got it here, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll take the shot over here at Jackson. Does he get All to right, pick his target, or he just shoots at the group? Well, no, the way the way it works, you shoot at the unit. Um, it's 1d6. You hit on three or more. It hits as if in the open. Shock is doubled, but if, it's hit, if there's a leader there, it's a minus one greater odds that you've hit the leader. So first thing you do, 1d6, three or more. Got, Got him. It. Now you check to see whether it's it's as if it's were in the open. So it's three, four shock, five, six kills. Oh, no. Kill. It's a kill that uh, is now, is it indeed uh, C Corporal Jackson? He dies on a one or a two. Well, it could be Fox or Jackson. Oh, yeah. Right? One or a two, it's a leader. Oh, no, it's not. So uh, let's see here. We did not check. To, it's in the open. So, Mike, it's up to you to see who you want it to come off of. Okay. Let's see who's he got here. He, you want it off? off the no, Bren it can't team. come off a gen. It can come yeah. off the rifleman or it can come off the Bren team. Yeah, yeah the Bren team. I would. That's that's not a shock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I was just looking. To, I, I wasn't sure who was who, so that's what I was just yeah. trying to figure out. Sniper hits the Bren team. Nice shot, Mike. Now, and I read the Overwatch thing, yeah. and I don't think I get to do it because it makes it sound like it's only if he shoots at someone on Overwatch. Yep, that's right. When fired on by a sniper. So, yeah, you don't even, pew, you don't even know where that was. Don't know where that was. Just ask the Russians, I guess. Good shooting, Mike. All right. That's the second most and best thing I've done in like eight weeks. That's not true. But no, you. Well, did you say second best? I said second best. Yes. I would say it's your third best because you killed a third? Churchill, you knocked out a Churchill, and now you've done damage. That this may be third best. I, I, I was counting the two Churchills oh, together okay. as one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, all right. Okay. So We'll, we'll call it a night. We'll, we <laughs> oh, OJ's going home. He's good. You just see the sniper packing up his rifle in his bag and walking home. Just shot some dude on a bread and team and went home. Right. Did my duty for the fatherland. Dude. I'm out of here. Yeah, no kidding. All right. So uh, you got anything else? No, I'm out of dice. Do you want to end the turn? Yes, please. Thought you did. Oh, this is going to go poorly. Yeah, this is where this gets gross. For me, probably, is the way it's going to go. It could be, but by the same token, suddenly this... Because the only problem is now your overwatches go away, too, Mike. Yep, I got it. <laughs> yeah, but there's this <laughs> squad these, that these suddenly is in this field. <laughs> hey, uh, Ian. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Just start digging. <laughs> just, just, you know that spade you always use at Volkerheim? I, I recommend you have a different plan. He said oh. he's he's shined it up all the last night, hoping to oh bury some. Oh my god! Some all general. those guys. And just remember, it's me rolling. So yeah, you never know. But oh my goodness, this 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 right here, uh, CT. Oh boy, biggest roll of the night. <laughs> Okay, okay, oh, I, can, I, can do that. Big, I can do that. Big break. I, I can big do that. Break. We're, we're good with this. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I just got to think this through, though. Mm -hmm. So you're All going right. to use the one to clean out your britches? <laughs> of that, of, of Jackson's team? That's a, that was a good roll there, CT. Oh, man, oh, man, okay.
when the company cancels the barrage and doesn't tell you. Yeah. All right, we're going to use the four Sergeant Fox. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going to activate. Mm -hmm. It's tea time for the uh, mortar crew. Yeah. This blocks line of sight, correct? Not if you're next Unless to Unless you're up against it. Well, within eight inches. Right. So his machine guns can't actually see me. So... Correct. Whew. All right, let's, let, no, let's, let's first things first. The Churchill. I'm gonna shoot. With what? Oh, uh, one and the two. Combined. Oh, you're putting those together. Got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot his tank. It's going to be hull down. Right. Well, first of all, I'm not convinced. Yeah, you can't see him. Okay, I can't see over the hedge. Mm -mm. If you were adjacent to it like he is, I'd say yeah, but not, gotcha. not at the distance. Okay. Well, that changes that. So let's go with... He's going to move up slowly. 1d6. Mm -hmm. Oof, that's a lot. Yeah. And as such, he can still use his main gun at full effect. Out of arc. You have to turn that turret. It would have to turn? Yep. And he could not have turned that while driving, correct? Yes, he could have. Yes. Okay. You get 60 degrees. All right. Well, then yeah, he would have turned it. All right. Just so, But that bear in mind, he's facing this way now. So he the can't, turret? Yeah, he can't. He can turn straight ahead for free. These guys are going to wind up out of arc for a turn. And you would know that those Germans have Panzerfausts. Yeah, yeah, this is a... Yeah, no, let's light up this bunker. Hey, right. GM. Yep. 16 for 456. Does that count 7? Um. 9. Whoa. How'd I get that? No, bad? no, no. I'm. I can't count. Four, Three, five, four, six, five. seven, eight. Eight, okay. There we go. So it's four and four. Uh, let me get a die real quick. Five shock, six kills. Let's go four on one side. I'm sorry, you need me to roll? No, uh, yeah, that's you, Mike. Uh, one D6? Four. Four D6, four D6. Six. five shock, six kills. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm, my wife needs some assistance. One, one shot. five. And over on the other side? Hang on. Four, four dice there, too, right? Yes, sir. One kill. Is it, uh, could it possibly be Sharpie or Sharp? 1d6. It is. Yes. Oh, dear. Told what has you. happened? There's my dice rolling. Yeah, your dice rolling came in for you. What has happened to him? 1d6. He is lightly Six. wounded, so he's still in the action, minus one to command initiative. However, that is a junior leader wounded, 1d6. Bad thing happening. One. Nothing. They apparently don't like him that much. Let me get his... So that reduces his command initiative by one point for the rest of the game.
And that's that. Okay, that's that shot from him. Hey, I gotta run downstairs for just a minute. I'll okay. be right back. All right, that gives me time to think. I'm still able to listen. I just got to step away from my PC. Yeah, I think pretty pretty well the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that second turn was definitely. Marky is observing you pulled that one straight out of the bag. No doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah, straight up fight. I don't like the odds. You're right about that. So far, Mike's trying to make sure it's not a straight up fight. I'm back. All right, I'm going to do something crazy. All right. With my four, I'm bringing up Pump House himself. What? Pump House appears. Bum, bum, bum. He is then going to order the FO to bring back or attempt to reach headquarters. Hey, fellas. <laughs> is that a 1D6? Give me a second. I got to get back to it to remind myself. Come on now. Yes. Yes. There it is. 1d6, tell me what you roll. Two. Not till the turn ends. Oh boy. All right. Uh, then he's going to tell the mortar team to drop some smoke, please. And <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can see it, so why don't you roll it? Yes. Oh, that was a good roll. Okay, I needed that. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I'll take my next phase then. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's... <laughs> yeah, Mike... I don't know. You had yeah. a you had a you had a good run, Mike. You had a good run. I, 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 did I not say let's pack it away? Yeah, yeah. Away. Honestly, you should have bagged I it. it. Should have bagged it. <laughs> I mean, it ain't over yet, but yeah, that's two in a row like that is tough. <sighs> All right, uh, with the four, he's gonna activate. He's going to remove this shock. <clears throat> and then they're going to run as fast as they can. And he'll remove another shock. And then at the end, the Bren team will get it again. Oh, okay. Go right ahead. 20. And you got my chain of command die, right? I did. That's why it's full over here. Okay. Um, and then with the two, Adams is going to shoot at that emplacement. At... Oh, he's going to bust out his uh, unit? Yeah, he's going to shoot. All right. So obviously that's... What's the limit on the Bren? Is there one? Yeah, it's just 36 plus. So it's, let's do our counting, shall we? The Bren is six. Yeah, six plus six. 12 for five, six. Ooh, wow. That's six by the look of it. 
Am I correct? Seven. Yep. Six, six sixes. Six, oh, six sixes six and a five. And a five, so seven. Seven. Right. So, Mike, uh, I assume you're going to want to put the loose one on the guy that's uninjured over here? Yes, please. Four dice. One kill. One kill. Uh, come on over here. Four more. Or sorry, three more. Three more. Yeah. And one, one shock. shock. Is it? Uh, is it sharp? Are you ending him? Two. Not. Machine gunner down. Yeah. Everybody else is fine. All right, and then I'm going to take the next phase. Okay. All right, a three. See. Actually, we're going to combine the two of these twos for a pump house CL for more smoke. Three. Line of sight? Uh, yes, sir. No, it hits there, then. All right. Um, and another three will be Jackson's. He will remove the shock. Um, and they're going to attempt to get to this hedge because I know it'll cost the die to get over mm -hmm. um, but they're going to run as fast as they can but mm -hmm. obviously stopping at the hedge mm -hmm. 3 will be the Churchill fire at sharp again 16 for 5 or 6 or for 4, 5, 6, sorry 16, 4, 5, 6 not so many 6, 6, 3 and 3 5 shocks, 6 kills missed nothing one kill. One kill. Is it uh, sharp? It is not. However, yep. they're down to one, which means it'll reduce their effectiveness. I count one, two, three, four, five, so they're fine. All right, and then my last two will be Adam's section again, and he's going to shoot at sharp. I think it's 12 still. Mm hmm. For five or six. Four. Four. Two and two. Uh, oh, two kills. My. 
And two. And nothing. Is it the leader? No. no. And so he's down to one. So one, two, three, but only two shocks, so they are not pinned. All right. All right, and it's back to Mike. So basically two threes. Can I bring Stein on? Mm -hmm. roll, don't I? Yeah, there's no more bombardment. Oh, so I don't need to roll. You don't. Ended when the turn ended. And remember that, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Go ahead. No, that's it. Put him right here? Pretty sure he shut that down. Oh, I see, because of how close he is. Yep. Yeah, I think it's eight inches. Yeah, it's eight inches. I didn't measure it, but I assumed it. On the other hand, you can be, yeah, you can be a good chunk of dirt. Basically, I want to get up here and try to shoot him. Oh, I know what you want to do. Yeah. It's not going to be that easy. I mean, you're going you're gonna to have to go figure by figure, because that's what it yep. ultimately no, no, is. Yep, off center. Fine. Yeah, you're not going to get any shots. You're too far off him. There's too much, there's too much hedge in the way. Unless I put them on the other side of the hedge. Yeah, but that's one, that's one guy. Where are you put the other ones? Right. That's your other move. I could put them in the ditch, can't I? Eight. Well, you could, and you're gonna hit one guy. Uh. Take that back. You'll get almost all of them. They'll get cover a bit and heavy at that. Whereas if you put them here, they get no cover at all. You're going to have to shoot him over this way. Okay. All right, what you want to do? Ditch, not ditch, what do I do? Grabs, Stein, Stein. Oh, mm -hmm. never mind. That's right. Okay. All right. We'll attempt to shoot. 16 plus what changes here? Oh, that's definitely close. Yeah. No, it actually isn't. Oh, no? You no, know, he's effective because he's got a machine gun. I'm talking oh, about what right, he also right. gets this guy. So he's got uh, 16 dice for a 4, 5, 6. That's not close. It is. That's what 4, 5, oh, 6 Oh, I is. thought you said but, it. But for Sharfuhr Stein, who's going to also get to fire his machine pistol, it's effective gotcha. range. 16 gotcha. dice for okay. 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, six. four, five, six. Three and three. Four, three, four shock, five, six kills. Two shock and a kill. Over here, same thing. One shock. Kill. Is it a leader? It is not. Take off a rifleman from Jackson. Mm hmm. And now we get to check for uh, Star for Shine. He gets two dice for four. He gets two dice for five six, with his MP forty. No, nothing. All right. We'll try to move the Panzer. So what you're going to do? You're pretty just going to have to describe it. Try and get up out here to try and get a shot off at this infantry you're gonna uh, that's your problem you can't yeah 
You're, well, you're up over the hedge. You know, you are up over that hedge. Just bear in mind also, you're potentially giving this Churchill a side shot if you do that. All right. It actually, no, you know what I'm saying? If you turn and get to here, you'll get a clear shot covered by that smoke. Okay. And that's less than 90 degrees, so yeah. I can do two dice and still shoot, right? Uh, no, it's one die if you want to sh shoot your main gun, two dice if you want to shoot your machine gun. Uh, yeah, that's at half effect, right? Yeah, that's at half effect, yeah. yeah. But my problem is, is I need at least eight inches, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I'd say. I got to roll. I do need to roll two to try to get enough. Well, distance. no, I mean, because if, no, because remember, it's doubled. Oh, that's right. So All if right. you get a we'll four or better. take a chance with one. Yeah. Four. Uh, see how far you get with four, and let's see what that looks like. No. Yeah. See that? Nowhere near enough. Yeah, I mean, you get these four guys at the back. All right. We'll take a shot at them. Which does include leaders. HE is five. Five dice, four, five, six. Two. Uh, it's the one group over here. It's the only guys you can see. So uh, three, four shock, five, six kills. One kill. Is it the leader? It is not. Comes off rifle, Rifleman Jackson. Okay. And that's it for me. Hey, Jim, I don't have a command dice. Just never got moved off the card. Oh, okay. I used it to end the turn a while ago. Mm hmm Yep. Uh, back to UCT. He rolled. Yeah. Oh, I'm I apologize. thinking here. He's full of thinking. Yep. All good. I just didn't realize he'd rolled. All right, with the three, Churchill's going to shoot these guys in the open here. They're actually in light cover, but... Oh, they are? They're in that ditch? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not not that that's not going to hurt a whole bunch. 16 dice for four, five, six. Three, six. Three and three. Uh, th uh, four or five shock, six kills. Kill. One kill. On the right. Kill and one shock. Yeah. Or is that two so, shock? Yeah, so, no, it's one shock. Um, yeah. So one shock, but now we got two hits, so let's check. Leader. No. No. So one of each. Um, with the two I got, I will activate Adams here. Mm -hmm. Can he see Stein? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, then 12 on Stein. Mm -hmm. Five or six. They're in cover, so Mike, I assume you want the uh, extra hit to go... Well, they're even, actually. So I assume you want it to go to the guy that doesn't have shock? Sure. Yes. So, so one in the guy with no shock? What's that? One in the guy with no shock? One die. One on... Oh, yeah. Kill? Kill. Two on the guys with shock? And I can another, another kill. kill. Leader? No. 
down to one man on both guns. Okay. All right, and then I have a senior leader, so Sergeant Fox is going to activate these guys. Mm -hmm. He's going to take a shock off of each. Then they're going to try to move. What are they going to do? I just don't. So this is my objective. Mm -hmm. But it makes no sense if I jump that hedge and end it holding that. Why not? Because he's got a tank staring me down. So what? It seems you, you, gamey. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that matters. No? No. I'm going to try to get over the hedge then. Well, you do. There's no way you don't. Okay. I, was, I was waiting for you to win. Yeah, I mean, that's what I want to do is yeah, do yeah. that and then end the turn. Yeah, and then you win. Okay. That's, that's, you win, essentially. So there it is. Um, that's it. So to, for those who don't understand what CT is about to do, he's got to roll two dice. He gets he has to give up the highest one as he comes over the hedge, but he keeps the lowest one. He's then going to flip whoever that is over that hedge. I mean, he's going to get there. And once he gets there, he's going to end the turn, which ends the game, because that's all he has to do to win. You got all the way across this board in the face of fire. I mean, look, let's be clear. You won this because of those die because of your consecutive turn die rolls. Oh, abs absolutely. You, you know, and and what happened in the story? It means that for whatever reason, Sergeant Fox and Rifleman Jackson's squad, they came barreling over and they got lucky. Right as the, it's a, it was a great story. Right as the barrage ends, right as they're exposed in front of a tank and all this other stuff, Fox just goes, boys, run. And the Germans are so shocked by their initiative in moving that they don't do anything else. You know, it's, uh, and then Mike, I, what do I tell you, man? That's some, that was some horrific rolling. Oh, yeah. Oh, Don't my play. God. I mean, he, he saw his, he saw two squads nearly wiped out because he is, of his ability to roll sixes. I mean, Mike, you did a great job. I mean, that's a perfect position. That's where you want that thing. Oh, yeah. That's terrifying. You know, that's terrifying. where you want that thing. As Achilles was telling you in the chat, you got a perfect flank shot on a squad trying to get through a hedge, and you just couldn't make it pay off. I mean, for God's sake, you rolled 16 dice, and you only got how many hits? Six? You're yep. supposed to get eight. You know? Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, just, just the dice weren't there, but still a great story, and... Oh. For, for the utter lack of terrain, you both did an amazing job. It's very cool because it's obvious you both, obviously CT's played a lot. Mike, you've played more. You're learning the system. And not just how to play it, but the way it works. You know, what's the punch and the counter punch. Uh, one of the comments that Marky Hustler made earlier is, is this going to be a race for the first guy that gets the uh, that gets a command die? And as it turns out, yeah, it was. Yep. You know, so... Ah, oh, yet another British win, partially only attributable to the Churchill. Um, and because I think Mike did a wonderful job of neutralizing the effectiveness of it. No, I enjoyed this one. This was fun to watch. Um, that was a real uh, interesting challenge to attack across that wide open field. Yep. And I think you did a very fine job with that. Uh, you, yeah, you got caught out, but that's going to happen too, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the entire life of one Sergeant Fox flashed before his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that, 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 when that barrage ended, that was a uh, critical moment really in the campaign. So we only have one more battle. Only one more. The and battle have to wait for... a couple, and it's going to have to wait at least two weeks. At least two weeks? What's yeah. going on? Well, being. New York next week and 
be heading home Thursday, so I got a feeling I won't be. If I make it home in time, I'm probably not going to have the energy to to try and do this. To all right, we'll have to figure something else out to do for the Thursday night throwdown. Oh my goodness! And and I'll forewarn you that the the following week is is the couple of days before my daughter's wedding. Depending on what's going on, I may have to take a pass then too. Oh my goodness! Because and I will tell. Well, what's the and that's taken us. I'm looking at the calendar. Let's see. So we're at the 17th, the 24th. Yeah, and I think it's the. Yeah, I think the 24th. I won't be here. Oh. Yeah, the uh, the Mrs. Velker and I were we're traveling a little bit, so we'll have to see. So stay tuned. So well, yes, that's right. It's just like who shot Jr. We're leaving you. We're leaving you dangling. To wonder what happened. Let me get a final shot. Did I get a good shot? You just won't have to wait till the end of summer for for to find out right exactly <laughs> make sure you get a shot of pump house who actually made it on the table for one battle good point where, albeit where? as far yeah as i was gonna say where's he hiding possible here he is <laughs> with his with his pistol waving in the air good luck boys it's like where's waldo spot pump house That was quite the fight, but I enjoyed it. All right. So what's going on? Um, to be direct, I'm trying to get a hold of Tuna to see if he wants to play Chain of... Uh, I did it again. Well, it's right in front of me. Uh, Commands and Colors Napoleonic Saturday Night. We want to get Tuna to the table again. But if not, if not, we're going to play Bloody Big Battles Antietam. That's what we're going to do. So come on by for that. So we'll have either one of those two fun games, just depending on whether or not we can get the Tuninator in on a Saturday night or not. Um, I discovered that there were several Le Grand Battles community-based scenarios that have come out for battles I really, really like. So they're really, really big. And I want to build them. So I shall. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Yeah, watch season two in 2024. The... Uh... <laughs> In Soviet Russia, Waldo finds you. That's funny. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for playing. Thank you all for watching. And uh, great fun whenever it is. Whenever we can come back, that'll be awesome. But in the meanwhile, with all the craziness, hey, Velker, good evening. Good evening. How you doing? I'm doing well. How was your event? It was good. We recorded a promotional video for First Stage. First Stage Milwaukee. You were, you were in this promotional video? I was. Awesome. All right. Well, for Velker and me and for everybody else out there, please take care of yourselves and one another. We'll talk soon.